Well, it's always good to catch up when we get to see our good friend Bill Landry. He has a new book out titled When the West Was Tennessee. And he's with us today along with Becky Ham, who works with this weekend's Mountain Makins Festival. We appreciate both of you coming on. Yes. Thank always you so a treat, much. Bill Landry. Thank you. Thank you. Are you behaving? Not too much. Uh, not she was too talking much. to her. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, glad to be here. Glad to be here. We're looking forward to the Mountain Makings Festival in Morristown, and I've, I've been invited to come. And Becky is the operator, manager, uh, executive director of the festival, and it's, a, it's the longest running, one of the longest in the South. Well, look, we're going to talk more about that in a minute, but tell us a little bit about When the West Was Tennessee, your, your latest book. How many books have you written now? Three. So what? What's so that's the third one? Yeah. Now is this you on the cover? No. It kind of looks like you with your hand on your knee. Another I'll be guy with thought it was. That's Wiley Oakley, and of course he he died about 1960. So I would. Okay. Well, I, I was would talking be, about you. I'm possibly being on there. I know. I would be 104 if that was me. <laughs> well, okay. Well. But no. That's well, not tell me. us about this book, Bill. All right. That's that book is about all the things that I've gotten to see and do and learn. And the river, Cage Cove, I do the Cage Cove right, tour. Right, yeah. The R Tennessee River, I was a riverboat captain for TJ. Yeah, right. The river, Cage Cove, the Wilderness Road. And it all started up in Bean Station uh, at a beast feast, you know, where they roadkill and what, what are you eating there? That's a possum or skunk or, you know. You ever been to a beast feast? I can't no. Say I have. Well, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> so that's what that's how it started. This is how that started. And then all we turned around, and the idea was it was on uh, 11E. And 11E, you know, you think, well, that that's a church, right? Uh, and uh, that's a silly place to put a wild game dinner. But if you think about it, 11E was the Wilderness Road. That's the great stagecoach road. Amazing. And it, ru it runs from Knoxville, Tennessee, to Bean Station, all the way to Washington, D.C. And the great hotel in 1814 <laughs> uh, had four presidents stay there. Amazing. Two, it's 200 room hotel in 1814. Gosh, it's incredible. And so there's a lot, a lot to talk about. Yeah. The whole book takes place about 1790. Amazing. Wonderful. And you're going to have him be a guest. He's going to talk about his book. But let's talk about the festival. Well, we're so glad to have Bill Landry back, along with about nine other authors. Uh, our festival is celebrating its 43rd year, so it's one of the oldest arts and crafts festivals. It's a folk life festival, so we have demonstrators, we have uh, dancers, and two stages of music, and beautiful handmade crafts. Oof. Wonderful. And some good food. You're Great Christmas presents. Great yeah, Christmas presents. Yeah, that's presents. a good call, Bill. It's going to be at the Rose Center, right? It's kind of at Rose Center, based mm -hmm. around that. And there's the information, uh, the prices. You can follow on Facebook, Mountain Makins Festival. It's a great time. We've been up there for it. It's great. Mm -hmm. And of course, Bill Landry make it even better. Thank mm -hmm. y'all for coming. Thank you. Thank Shake you. Thank you.